Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this look using the new ColourPop Mandalorian palette. I have to be honest with y'all, I have not watched any episodes of The Mandalorian. Not because I don't want to, I just haven't, but I love Baby Yoda. My husband really likes it, so I might start watching it after I finish my show on Netflix. But I know a lot of people do watch it and love it, so whenever I saw this palette, I wanted to get it and try it out for y'all, and I love it. It's very affordable. I think it's $12. It's also a smaller palette, so you don't have to worry about getting a big one and not using the colors. And you can do a lot of different looks, even though it's a small palette, but if y'all wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm starting off with the Vitamin Glow Primer from Smashbox. It has vitamins B, C, and E, and I haven't really noticed a big difference in my makeup or my skin, but I've been wanting to use a more hydrating primer because my skin's been a little bit more dry lately. So now I'm going in with the Foundsealer by Tarte, which is my all-time favorite foundation. This is another one that is hydrating. I normally have combination normal to oily skin, and I still love this foundation. I honestly wear it year-round because it feels so good on the skin. It's not heavy at all and it's a buildable coverage. Now I'm going to cover up these terrible dark circles. I always start off with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector because a corrector corrects and counteracts the darkness where concealer just covers it up. You can see a big difference just with this product. I absolutely love it. And then it does have a peachy tone, so I'm still going to go in with concealer to give more coverage and just to make it blend. Shape Tape is my all-time favorite concealer. It is so hard for me to try different ones because it works, and this combo is definitely my holy grail under eye combo. Now I'm just setting my face with a translucent setting powder. I normally use the Laura Mercier one. That is one of my favorites, but lately I've been trying the Seal the Deal Loose Powder by Lawless. I haven't really used it enough to tell if I like it, but I'm going to continue to use it and I will give y'all an update. So I always use a translucent powder because I don't want it to change the color of my foundation. I don't want to add more coverage. I just want to set it, but everybody's different. So just use whichever one you like better. Next, I'm using one of my new favorite products, the Gucci bronzer. This is pretty pricey, but y'all, it is so pretty. The packaging, the product, it feels like butter, and Christmas is coming up, so y'all can always put it on your Christmas list. And I should have told y'all they had a Sephora sale last week, and you could have got this on sale, but I didn't tell you all about it, but definitely add it to your Christmas list because it is awesome. Okay, since I'm using Gucci bronzer and Gucci eyebrow pencil, I wanted to add in some drugstore products. So this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dolce Pink, which is a really pretty pink color. I actually really like the Milani blushes, and I really need to get some more, and I'm going to try and start adding in more drugstore products for y'all. I'm also using a Milani highlighter. I think it is one of their strobe light highlighters in the shade 03 Sun Glow, which is a really pretty gold color. If you haven't noticed, I love gold highlighters. I've been switching up my brows lately and I've been starting off with the Benefit Micro Filling Pen and I will do the front and kind of outline it and then I will go in with a Gucci pencil and just fill it in a little bit more. That way it makes it quick and easy and it also makes them look a little bit more natural. Next, I'm just lining my upper waterline with a black eyeliner, and I always have to hold my lid up like this because I have contacts, and I try not to draw on my contacts. 
Now for the eyeshadow, please excuse that, that weird face that I just made, but how cute is this packaging? So this is the new ColourPop Mandalorian palette, and I think these colors are so pretty. So I probably should have watched this show because some of these names I cannot say, and I'm not even going to try. So I'm just going to point to the shades. So I'm starting off with this color first, and it is the perfect transition color. So I always like to start with that one first, and I put it above my crease, blending up just a little bit and I always start off with a little bit of product and build it because it's easier to build than to take away. I feel like when you take off your eyeshadow it just messes everything up. So once I get it as dark as I want I will take a clean fluffy brush and just buff out the edges. I can actually say this next color and it is called Float Your Crib and this is going to be my crease shade. I like to add it to my natural crease and also bring it up just a little bit because I do have hooded eyes and that just means if I was to look up and relax my eyes you can't see my natural crease so I kind of have to create my own. Hopefully that makes sense and once again I am just building the color and then I will take that same clean fluffy brush and buff out the edges. And now I'm just taking that first shade and buffing it all the way across my lower lash line and then I am going to line my lower waterline with that same black eyeliner as well. So I was trying to figure out which shade I liked for my lid and ended up going with Sipping Soup which is a really pretty shimmery green so now I'm just taking that and putting it all over my lid. Next, I'm taking that same shade I used for my crease, Float Your Crib, and applying it to the outer corner. I'm also going to drag it into my crease and just deepen it a little bit more. And then I'm also going to add it to the outer corner of my lower lash line as well. And now I'm taking the shade Precious Cargo and placing it on my inner corner. I did try and use a brush, but it was more pigmented with my finger. I think it's more of a pressed glitter, and it's a really pretty iridescent white and green type shade. It's really pretty. And now I'm using a MAC mascara for my lower lashes. I know it's a little extra to have a lower lash mascara, but this is the perfect brush for that. And it's also waterproof, so it doesn't smudge or smear on my lower lash line. So I've really been trying to switch up my product so I'm not using so much Tarte because I use that all the time since it's my favorite brand. But I'm a creature of habit and when I love something, it is so hard to switch it. So for mascara, I am once again using Man Eater by Tarte. I love this so much because it's triple black pigment, so it's very dramatic without having to add 10 layers. And this brush really gets in there and separates so it doesn't get clumpy. And to finish off the look, I'm using one of the ColourPop Matte Lippy Sticks in the shade Cookie. It is a really pretty nude color. I think this would look good on so many different skin tones, and it goes perfect with this look. I actually ordered it whenever I ordered this Mandalorian palette, and I got another really pretty berry color. But these are also really good prices, so definitely go check them out. I will link everything I use down below in the description bar if you want to check any of these products out. So that completes this look. I really hope that y'all liked it. If this is another look you would want to wear for Thanksgiving but want to switch it up a little bit, instead of doing the dark green on the outer corner, you can use the cranberry shade. But since my last tutorial, I used a lot of cranberry, I wanted to switch it up for this one. But as I mentioned before, you can do a lot of different looks even though this is a smaller palette. So let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more looks using this ColourPop Mandalorian palette. But if you liked this look and you're excited about this palette and you want to get it for yourself, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week, but I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.